Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Mask from Provadia A very strange little prehistoric mask has just been uncovered in Bulgaria. With large dark eyes and no mouth, many people think it is eerily similar to an alien. This unique mask was discovered at Europe's oldest mining center in Provadia, with a prehistoric settlement known as the Salt Pit. It's the earliest known prehistoric town on the continent, dating back to the 4th or 5th millennium BC. The archaeologists who found it said that it has holes in it so that it could be worn around the face like a mask or as a type of necklace like an amulet. The face has eyebrows, a streamlined nose, elliptical eyes, and was probably a type of status symbol of someone who worshipped the sun. The eyes and facial features are clearly carved and polished, and there is probably an important reason the mask has no mouth. We just don't know what it is. However, it is clear that whoever made it, made it without one on purpose. Although they are unsure of the symbolism behind the artifact, they also think that its distinctly shaped eyes and the vertical bands carved beneath them represent something specific, maybe some type of animal or god. Provadia Solnitsata is extremely old and was just recently discovered in 2012. The people here were building complex structures and mining salt before the invention of the wheel. It was first inhabited by a late Chalcolithic society that became rich as a salt production center. The site predates the beginnings of Greek civilization by over 1,000 years. Residents collected salt water from nearby springs and boiled it in ceramic bowls. The water evaporated and the end product was a chunk of salt ready to hit the trade market. What's left of the town today consists of some homes, a collection of pits that were possibly used for rituals, fortification walls, and a gate. More than 3,000 gold objects were found at an ancient cemetery near the site. They may be connected to Solnitsata and might be some of the treasures the ancient people left behind. Little else is known about the people who lived here. Number 9. Roman Coffins with Celtic Decorations In 2019, archaeologists discovered two decorated Roman lead coffins at a quarry in Surrey, England. Only a few hundred such burials are known to exist throughout Britain. The coffins were found with other graves in a small L-shaped cemetery. Measuring 6.2 feet long by 1.5 feet wide, they were made from sheets of cast lead. Both caskets bear images of scallop shells within triangles. Scallops are commonly seen on Roman coffins and are believed to symbolize the journey into the underworld, according to current archaeology. But the ones seen on these coffins may be Romano-Celtic in nature, in which case they represent fertility and rebirth. Traces of wood indicate that the caskets were once encased in larger wooden boxes that deteriorated over time. One contained an adult and a baby, presumably a mother and her child, while the other held the remains of an adult. Because lead was expensive at the time of the burials, it's likely that the individuals were from the upper class and that the coffins were a display of their elite status. The caskets became distorted over the centuries, with the weight of the earth causing the lids to cave in and soil to pour into the burials. Studying the bones was difficult and revealed very little. But the imagery proved valuable in helping researchers learn more about Roman-era Britain when many Celtic tribes became at least partially Romanized. Based on the findings, it appears as though these groups adopted some Roman traditions, like the lead casket, while retaining some of their own. Number 8. Lady of Baza while excavating a pre-Roman settlement in Spain in 1971, a worker struck a hard object. It was a four-foot-tall funerary statue of a woman dating back nearly 2,500 years. Discovered near the modern-day city of Baza, the limestone sculpture depicts an elaborately dressed woman sitting on a throne. Nicknamed the Lady of Baza, it contains traces of bright pigments that it was once painted with. Inside the statue, archaeologists found cremated human remains dating back to around 380 BC. This and other similar Bronze Age Iberian sculptures are all shrouded in mystery. But the Lady of Baza may provide researchers with intriguing clues to her identity and what Iberian society was like back in the day. The Iberian culture emerged around 1000 BC from the previous Argar society. Composed of skilled metal workers, the society became wealthy through trade with people from the eastern Mediterranean. The Iberian language is largely undeciphered, leaving experts to rely on artifacts for insight into their life. 
Found surrounded by grave goods in what was once an Iberian capital, the Lady of Baza was probably an aristocrat. She was buried with an array of items indicating her high social standing, including ceramic pots and metal weapons. Carved from a single stone block, the sculpture bears traces of Greek and Phoenician influence. This makes sense since the Iberians traded extensively with Carthage and a newly established Phoenician capital at the time the statue was made. The Iberian culture disappeared upon Roman conquest, leaving little surviving evidence behind. Rare discoveries like the Lady of Baza are critical to improving our understanding of the ancient civilization. Number 7. Kiladi Civilization Excavations in several villages throughout Tamil Nadu, India have increasingly made headlines in recent years for discoveries of artifacts from the enigmatic Kiladi Civilization. Some of the objects date as far back as 850 BC, and it's believed that the sites may have been occupied by humans as early as 2,600 years ago. Earlier this year, archaeologists unearthed 25 burial urns at one Kiladi site, which they believe was a cemetery. It's been suggested that the civilization descended from the Harappan culture, and DNA tests are being performed on the remains in hopes of learning more about their origins. A rusted 16-inch dagger was recently found in a burial urn. It was broken in half, but part of its wooden handle remained intact. The weapon dates back to the Sangam period, which lasted from the 3rd century BC to the 3rd century AD. The digs have also turned up cow, ox, buffalo, and goat remains, showing that the Kiladi people had domesticated animals and farmed. Around 500 BC, the society experienced an agricultural boom that enabled growth and gave rise to new urban centers. Evidence of production includes spinning and weaving equipment, cloth dyeing tools, ceramic workshops, and brick kilns. But it wasn't all work and no play for the Kiladi, who played board games and inscribed their pottery with the Tamil Brahmi script, an early script that was used for writing during the Old Tamil period. The artifacts that have been unearthed so far show that the Kiladi people were self-sustaining, industrious, and a literate early urban society. But experts still have a lot to learn about this little-studied ancient civilization. And now for number 6. But first, I want to give a big shout-out to Dirty Nikki and Scott Allison. Thanks so much for supporting this channel, and be sure to let us know what other things you would like to see in the comments below. If you want to see more videos about discoveries and archaeology, hit that subscribe button before you leave. Number 6. Mystery Woman After purchasing a vintage camera in 2015, Irish camera collector William Fagan noticed that there was an undeveloped roll of film inside, but it wasn't until last year that he finally got around to developing it. The result was a collection of 22 photos, featuring a glamorous young woman who he is hoping someone can help him identify. The images show the beautiful lady posing on a deserted street in northern Italy, in a mid-1930s BMW Cabriolet in Switzerland, besides a lake at an unknown location, and in a handful of other places in Europe. She appeared to be traveling with an older, more camera-shy gentleman. Fagan told CNN that he felt like he was intruding on someone's personal life by looking at the photos, but he ironically decided to release them to the public, in hopes of finding out who they belong to. He believes the images date back to the 1950s, which means that the people in them could still be alive. Some people speculated that the couple may have been famous, while others suspected that they are long-lost relatives of their family. Last year, Fagan said that he hopes to get one step closer to solving the mystery by contacting BMW enthusiast clubs with the license plate information from one of the photos. In the meantime, he is taking all the help he can get from the public. The photographer is doing what he calls photographic archaeology, which he is really passionate about. With any luck, or perhaps some more digging, he'll hopefully reunite the couple or their surviving loved ones with some recently rediscovered long-lost memories. Number 5. The Trojan Horse Has the horse of legend finally been found? While excavating the ancient city of Troy in modern-day Turkey recently, archaeologists found what they believe are the remnants of the famous Trojan Horse. Discovered on the hills of Hisarlik, the fascinating find came in the form of a large wooden structure assembled from dozens of strangely positioned fir planks. Each beam measures up to 49 feet long. Radiocarbon dating tests put the suspected horse's construction sometime during the 12th or 11th centuries BC, and according to experts, this date aligns with the recorded dates for the Trojan War. Until recently, most researchers considered the Trojan horse to be a mythical structure, 
and this discovery could prove to be a game changer in our understanding of this chapter in history. Homer's epic poems The Iliad and The Odyssey recount the story of the Trojan War. Oddly, they do not mention the horse, and the Iliad concludes before the war's end. The Trojan horse is also detailed in the Aeneid by Virgil, which was written during the reign of the Roman Emperor Augustus. Historians believed that Virgil's reference to the horse was metaphorical in nature, perhaps relating to a natural disaster or a war machine. They are rethinking this theory now that the possible remnants of the horse have been found. The structure fits the ancient writer's description, indicating that his intentions were quite literal rather than an analogy. In addition to the horse, archaeologists found a gold plate that was mentioned in the epic poem Post Homerica by Quintus Smyrnaeus. Just like the text mentions, the plate is inscribed with the words, For their return home, the Greeks dedicate this offering to Athena. For some time, experts were unsure whether Troy itself ever existed. Research has come a long way in recent years by not only proving that the city itself was real, but that the Trojan War and many of the stories about it were also built on truth. Number 4. Suontaka Grave Over 50 years ago, back in 1968, archaeologists in southern Finland discovered an intriguing 1,000-year-old burial called the Suontaka Grave. It contained human remains, a sword with a bronze handle, another weapon, and feminine jewelry, all signs that the person was highly respected within their community. The grave's occupant was dressed in womanly attire, with a sword at their left hip and was laid to rest on a soft feather blanket. The weaponry indicated a man, but the clothing and jewelry sort of hinted towards a woman. So who was buried here? Researchers theorized that perhaps the burial contained two people, or that it was the grave of a powerful female who was in a leadership position, defying the gender norms of the late Iron Age. A solid explanation was lacking until this year, when scientists performed an analysis of badly damaged DNA collected from the remains. They confirmed that the burial contained just one person and found evidence of Klinefelter syndrome, a condition characterized by the presence of two X chromosomes and one Y chromosome, rather than the standard X and Y. While the symptoms vary, it's possible that the individual exhibited seemingly male and female traits. This would explain their mixture of grave goods and also serves as evidence that the community must have understood on some level the combination of masculine and feminine so long ago. Number 3. A Crazy Beast Among Dinosaurs A strange and unusual large mammal dubbed Adalatherium, or Crazy Beast, once lived with the dinosaurs. After studying the bizarre creature's remains for 20 years, researchers recently released their findings, finally. They described the specimen as the most complete mammal from before the dinosaur's extinction ever found in the southern hemisphere. The possum-sized creature was much larger than most other mammals of its time, which were typically the size of shrews or mice. It had strong hind limbs similar to those of a modern-day crocodile, front teeth like a rabbit, more trunk vertebrae than most of today's mammals, and back teeth unlike any known living or extinct mammal. The crazy beast emerged into existence around 145 million years ago on what is now the island of Madagascar. In fact, by then, Madagascar was already an island. The species belonged to the extinct Gondwanatheria mammal group, which had a widespread presence throughout the supercontinent of Gondwana, but its isolation on Madagascar might explain its unique anatomy. Despite the extensive study, however, the creature's placement on the mammal family tree remains undetermined. Experts are also baffled about how the crazy beast evolved. At first glance, it resembles a modern-day badger, but it's unclear how the animal moved with its sprawling back legs and tucked-in front legs. The creature's teeth also pose more questions than answers. Its back chompers are so out of the ordinary that scientists would have been unable to identify the animal based on the teeth alone, and there's an unexplained hole between the bones at the top of the snout. The most definitive conclusion that can be drawn from these fascinating findings is that the scientific community still has a lot to learn when it comes to our planet's earliest creatures. Number 2. Saka Warrior People Central Asia was once home to a mysterious warrior tribe called the Saka People who thrived between the 8th and 3rd centuries BC. This little studied civilization is best known for gold artifacts excavated from burial mounds in modern-day Kazakhstan, where warriors were laid to rest with their horses. Sadly, many of the graves were looted, 
but the burial of a teenage archer was found intact thanks to rockfall that effectively hid his grave from view for 2,500 years. He was 18 years old at the most when he died and was buried with a female relative. Their tomb was discovered and excavated over the last three years, and it's only the second intact Saka burial ever found. Dozens of these grave goods will soon go on display in a reconstruction of the archer's grave at the Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge, England. In addition to being skilled warriors, the Saka people were talented artisans who worked with gold and other metals. The bulk of the artifacts that archaeologists have uncovered came from three different burial complexes in Kazakhstan. While hundreds of items might seem like a lot, it's actually not much when it comes to learning about an entire culture. For now, experts admittedly have more questions than answers about this enigmatic but fascinating culture. Number 1. Headless Buddha While renovating an apartment complex in the city of Chongqing in southwestern China, workers discovered a 30-foot-tall religious statue hidden behind a thick wall of foliage. The moss-covered sculpture had gone undetected for quite some time. After its discovery, it went viral overnight on Chinese social media, quickly earning itself a reputation as the Buddha. Experts believe that the nearly forgotten statue was built sometime between 1912 and 1949, during China's Republican era. It was likely destroyed during the 1950s, roughly 30 years before the surrounding apartment complexes were built. And contrary to its nickname, the statue is not of Buddhist origin, but was inspired by a folk religion, according to researchers. The district government told local media that a Taoist temple dedicated to the god of thunder once stood near the artifact, but that the temple was dismantled in 1987. And although the statue fell into obscurity, it's actually a designated cultural relic. Like many cities throughout China, Chongqing is rapidly expanding. In recent decades, countless structures have been built to accommodate the region's burgeoning population of 30 million and counting. Discoveries like the statue, which became hidden quite quickly and easily, point toward the possible nearby presence of other forgotten artifacts and ruins. Urban expansion has the power to destroy archaeological gems, but when it's done right, it is also a great way to uncover secrets from the past. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe! See you later! Bye!